What is all this? Imprinting. That's a wire mother. If you separate a gorilla from its real mother, it will imprint on almost anything. Even that. Why would Fink care about that? Songbird. He wanted him to imprint on me. Well, if I recall, that was a problem he solved. Skeletal formula for oxytocin. That's the chemical that bonds mothers to children, women to men, and songbirds to little girls. Apparently not. Fink dismissed it as an unsuitable vector. things. Fink couldn't get them to imprint, so I left them to die. Imprinting failed. That can't be right. Clearly they formed a connection between Songbird and me. How? Oh. I was so young, I... I always remember him just being there. Must be a prototype or something. Is it a human? Does it matter? girl in the film. It's me. My God. Oh, I, rem I remember. He, he was... He, 
He had crashed into the tower. I, I, I guess he was in some sort of fight. I waited there thinking, thinking, I, I don't know, that something would happen, but, but he just lay there, moaning. I couldn't just... The line with the thorn in its paw. So much for science. I should have just left him there to die. I should have just... I will never escape it. Exploited, exploiting, me, Comstock, you, Sally. It's like a wheel of blood spinning round and round. Well, this must be the genetic sample Su Chong wanted. He sent you all the way back here for a sample of your own hair? He doesn't know I was once the child that imprinted on Songbird. But to him, all the answers lie in DNA. Men like Su Chong mistake an ounce of empathy for a pound of science. <laughs> Time to go back. I know. It, it's open! See if anything's worth reappropriating. Check for stragglers. Spread out.
You can't hide forever. Death to oppressors! <laughs> It has occurred to me that this breakthrough regarding the songbird casts my arrangement with the Oriental Doctor in a new light. What more could be gained by this continued partnership? What secrets that I could not answer for myself? Su Chong can only offer table scraps, and Jeremiah Fink has richer meat in mind. Anything that looks halfway there. What's next? Over here! Shake a leg! Uh, since when did you become Lord and Master? And I'll be running this town soon enough. Used to tow for the man. But now at least I tow for myself. I heard you. Where are you? Here I come! Uh. 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 
Daisy really even had a choice. What do you mean? Right about now, I'm planting a pair of scissors in her back to protect a child she was never going to harm. She chose to die for her revolution. What about me? For all the endless worlds, all the infinite possibilities, did I ever even have a choice? <laughs> Look where it got us. Right back where we started. All these infinite universes. And yet we end up just going down the same paths. No, I'll take your meaning. My father sold me to settle a marker. Comstock locked me up in a tower. And I sold Sally for what? Revenge to prove a point? And yet, here you are, settling the debt. And say we find her. The old past their damage to the young. Isn't it too late for her now? Well, I'd say that's up to her to decide. Just as coming back here was up to you. Rapture runs on children. Little girls with gold growing in their bellies. I'm not going to break any cycle. If I'm lucky, maybe I can end it. Just a little.
pretty lady has the hair? Deal is deal. Bring it to Su Chong. Pretty lady put hair sample in two. Then, business is finished. What's going on out there? Bloodshed, violence, but not relevant to our arrangement. Su Chong! Su Chong, we had a deal, now open! Do you know what they call someone who enters a man's home uninvited? A thief. And I do not remember inviting you into my city. I had a deal with Su Chong. Yi Su Chong is my employee. It was not a deal he was authorized to make. What do you want? I granted Atlas and his thugs asylum. You serve those same men in a desire to escape from my generosity. If they shall not have asylum, then they shall have liquidation. Give a parasite an ounce of charity. You'll demand a pound. I'm just looking for a girl that was taken from me. A little sister. I don't claim to understand what you are. But I know that you are special. There is business we can do together. And so, I give you a choice. Work for me, or die with Atlas. I'm not going anywhere without that girl. If it's a little sister you want, that shouldn't stand in the way of commerce. I've got dozens of them. I won't leave without her. My men stand ready to take down the door. In 60 seconds, they will enter the room. They will either treat you as a valued employee of Ryan Industries, or as a thief in the night. 60 seconds. There must be half a dozen of them or more. I've got to get ready. No traps. I can use the plasmids as traps and, and seed the room with them. i got to find somewhere to hide and, and surprise them. Take them down one by one. Forty seconds. You know what I see on your face? Uncertainty. Who is this girl to you? Thirty seconds. Do you know the value of this? Dark. Without them, the sea would be littered with the detritus of the weak. The men who come for you have much in common with those great animals. What sharks do for the ocean, these men do for rapture. Twenty seconds. I will tell you something you already sense. Atlas does not honor agreements. Andrew Ryan does. I cannot save your Sally, but I can save you. Time. You're not a hero. You're not even a parasite. You're just a room. And Andrew Ryan has no time for rooms. Let's make this easy on both of us. sister. You won't get anywhere hiding.
in the mood for this hide and seek. Something better across crossing the two of us. You're still here, aren't you? Come on out. There's the girl. Don't make me. Got you now! Seems to me you asked for this. Your sharks, Ryan. The better man won. Isn't that the only thing you respect? Now let me the hell out of here. Sounds like all hell's breaking loose out there. What's your plan? I can't just place the particle on the ceiling. It would just tear right through it. But every building in Rapture was submerged into the ocean on the lunette ring, connected to the junction of its load-bearing supports. Fascinating and all, but if you haven't noticed, Ryan sent his goons to murder us. If you're gonna pull a rabbit out of a hat, now's the time to do it. Looks like the structural junction is in Frank Fontaine's office. If I can get there, I can float the building. It so happens I've taken that bastard's office for my own use. I'll make sure you've access to the private elevator. Now hurry. Where'd you go? 
operation. I will have such conduct in this house. Ah, you should be ashamed. Party's over, huh? Supposed to be a brunette. Anyone seen her? Look around! Where's the valley? Here on that pretty hit. There she Show is. yourself. Got you now. Keep running forever. Stupid jerk. Should have never stuck his neck out. Yeah. 
Sister, you won't get anywhere hiding. This one. Elizabeth, you know Atlas is going to. I know. And I'm ready. Are you sure? I sent myself here for a reason. Didn't I? And who exactly are you speaking to, Miss Comstock? If I were less acquainted with the vicissitudes of genius. I suspect I would question your sanity. I know so little of you, but I imagine the more I learned, the more exceptional I would find you. You know Atlas will betray you. And what are you? My best friend? You're one of a kind in this world, or others. And now, your misguided sense of altruism sends you to your doom. It's like watching Isaac Newton die in a house fire. In a vain attempt to save his cat. <laughs> 